Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to our safety webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to install and configure Microsoft Entra Connect tool. If you are looking to sync your on-premises Active Directory with Microsoft Entra ID, you are in the right place. To synchronize your local Active Directory users to Microsoft Entra ID, you will need to install the Microsoft Entra Connect tool. This tool is installed on a domain joint server in your network and will synchronize your on-premises Active Directory with Microsoft Entra ID. Using the Microsoft Entra Connect tool, we can create a hybrid environment. One of the advantages of this is that our users can use single sign-on or for example password reset in Microsoft 365. Before installing Microsoft Entra Connect, it's good to take a look at the requirements for the tool. Before we begin, let's review the prerequisites for installing Microsoft Entra Connect on your Windows Server 2029 machine. Microsoft Entra Connect requires .NET Framework 4.8 or later. This is typically included with Windows Server 2016 and newer versions. on premises Active Directory environment is required for hybrid identity setups. The domain controller used by the Microsoft Entra Connect must be writable. Your on premises Active Directory domain needs to have a routable domain name or the user accounts need a registered UPN suffix that matches the verified domain name in Microsoft Entra ID. For example, if your on premises domain is not local, then you have a problem. This is not a routable domain and will be different from your registered domain name in Microsoft Entra ID. I'll create a separate video on that topic as well. You need to have a Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Make sure you have admin credentials for both your on premises Active Directory and your Microsoft Entra ID tenant. The most common topology is a single on premises AD Forest with one or multiple domains and a single Microsoft Entra ID tenant. This video will follow this topology using a new Windows Server 2019 Forest and Domain and Microsoft Entra ID tenant using a free license and a verified custom domain. Installing Microsoft Entra Connect on the domain controller is supported, but Microsoft doesn't recommend that. It's best to install Microsoft Entra Connect on a separate domain join Windows server. In this example, we'll use the domain controller for demonstration purposes. In this lab, we have single domain Active Directory Forest. This is our domain controller named ws2k19-dc01 for msftwebcast.in domain. Click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Already, I have created some users and groups. We also have two Windows 11 client PCs that are domain joined. Now, let me show you our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. We need to access and log in to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Entra Admin Center using the URL entra.microsoft.com. For this video, we have used the Global Administrator account to log in to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Expand Identity section and click on Overview. Here, we can see the basic information about our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. The primary domain name is msftwebcast.in and the license type is Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. As you can see, Microsoft Entra Connect is not enabled in our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Expand Identity menu and click on Show More. Now click on Settings and then click on Domain Names. In our Microsoft Entra ID tenant, we have added the custom domain name msftwebcast.in. This is set as our primary domain name. Now expand Users and click on All Users. We can see the list of existing users in our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Let me scroll down, expand Hybrid Management and then click on Microsoft Entra Connect. On this page, we have two options, Cloud Sync and Connect Sync. At the moment, we are not discussing Cloud Sync. I'll create a separate video explaining the differences between Cloud Sync and Connect Sync as well as when to use them. Click on Connect Sync. Check the last sync status. In our case, it shows that sync has never run in this Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Click on Download Microsoft Entra Connect link. This will open a new tab for us. Click on the download link to download the Microsoft Entra Connect setup file. 
This will take only few seconds as the size of this setup is around 150 MB. Open Downloads folder. We need to copy this setup file to our domain controller where we want to install and configure Microsoft Interact Connect tool. Click on Devices, Shared Folders and then click on Shared Folders Settings. Click on plus icon, click on drop down arrow and select Other. Choose Downloads folder. Click OK. Again, click OK. Open Run menu. Type double slash VBOX SRV and press Enter key. Access Downloads folder. Right click on Azure AD Connect and select Copy. Let's paste this setup file under Downloads directory. Let me paste here. Now let's close Active Directory Users and Computers and Server Manager dashboard. Let's double click on the setup file to start the installation. Let me close this folder as well. We are receiving an error message indicating that the installation requires TLS 1.2 but it has not been enabled on the server. As a result, we are unable to proceed with the installation. To fix this issue, we need to enable TLS 1.2 on the server. After enabling TLS 1.2, restart the server, then run the setup file again to continue with the installation and configuration. We can use either the registry or Windows PowerShell to enable TLS 1.2 and configure the server to only use TLS 1.2 for communication with Azure. Click on this document link to open Microsoft documentation web page to learn about the steps to enable TLS 1.2 on this server. Microsoft has provided us the PowerShell script to enable TLS 1.2. You can use the following PowerShell script to enforce TLS 1.2 on your Microsoft Interact Connect server. Copy the PowerShell script. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Paste the command and press Enter to run this script. Once TLS 1.2 is enabled, you will be prompted to restart the Windows server for the changes to take effect. Let's close the web browser. Go back to Setup and click on Exit. Open File Explorer, go to Downloads and rerun the installer. Click Next. Click on Remove. Again click on Remove. Make sure also Uninstall Supporting Components checkbox is selected. Click on Remove. Once done, click Exit. Let's close File Explorer. In PowerShell, type command restart-computer and press Enter key to restart the server. After the restart, log into the Windows Server 2019 again using the domain administrator's credentials. Let's run the Azure AD Connect.msi installer file. Let me minimize this as well. Agree to the license terms and click continue. By default, the installation is set to Express. If you need to use the custom installation, click the customize button. It will give you all the options which you can decide for yourself. We can customize settings affecting Microsoft Entra Connect. By selecting the first option, you can specify the custom installation location for Microsoft Entra Connect tool. By default, Microsoft Entra Connect is going to use SQL Express Addition to store information. But if you have larger environments and you also have high availability requirements, then choose second option to use an existing SQL Server. For that, you must have SQL installed on your server. Here, we are not going to select any options as this is just a demo. Click Install. The installer will install the required components like the synchronization service. Wait for a few seconds to complete the installation. Next, we will choose Sign in options. We have got a variety of options available and you need to select the right one for your organization. However, most organizations should choose password has synchronization. You can also enable single sign-on for your users. Pick your desired method as per your organization's requirement. Here, we are using password has synchronization for this video. Click Next. On the Connect to Microsoft Entra ID screen, we need to enter our Microsoft Entra ID account credentials. After entering the username and password, click Next to continue. Click on Next. Enter the user password and click on Sign in. If MFA is enabled on your account, you may be prompted to complete the required authentication steps based on your organization's settings. After successful authentication, we'll reach on Connect Your Directories page. 
On this page, we will need to add a local active directory. Under forest, select your directory and then click on add directory. In our example, select msftwebcaster.in forest and click on add directory to add a local active directory. You will be prompted to select either create a new account or use existing account. This account will be used for directory synchronization. In this example, I am going to select create new ID account option. We have to use enterprise administrator credentials to add an active directory connection. Fill in the administrator account with enterprise admin rights. After entering the username and password, click OK. Microsoft Entra Connect will create an ADDS connector account in Active Directory with all the necessary permissions. We can confirm that msftwebcast.in is added successfully. Click Next to continue. On this page, you will see the Active Directory UPN suffix and corresponding Microsoft Entra ID domain status for all your added directories. In our case, user's UPN suffix is msftwebcast.in and our verified domain name in Microsoft Entra ID tenant is also msftwebcast.in. So we can see that the domain is marked as verified under Microsoft Entra ID domain. If any of your domains aren't verified or added, then you can fix this and refresh the screen using the refresh icon. On the same page, you will also get to customize your user principal name, the on-premises attribute that will be used as the Microsoft Entra ID username. If you have multiple domains listed and the primary domain is verified, then you can select continue without matching all UPN suffixes to verify domains. In our case, the domain name is verified. Click next to continue. On the domain and OU filtering, we can leave everything as default to sync the entire Active Directory data. We can also filter this data by only selecting the desired domain and OUs. In our example, we only want to sync the India OU and Sub OUs. Choose Sync Selected Domains and OUs option. Clear the checkbox in front of msftwebcast.in. Expand and select the OU which you want to sync. I'll only sync India OU. If I expand this, under I have total 4 child OUs. After selecting the India OU, click Next to continue. On this page, select how users should be identified in your on-premises directories and select how users should be identified with Microsoft Entra ID. If your Active Directory users have unique identifiers like SAM account names, select the default option in the Select how users should be identified in your on-premises directories section. I strongly recommend that you accept the default in the Select how users should be identified with Microsoft Entra ID section. From the uniquely identifying your users tab, our recommendation is to leave the default settings for basic setups. For more complicated setups, you may want other options where you will need to match your users using a particular attribute across all directories. When you are done, click Next. From the Filter Users and Devices tab, we can sync all users and devices or we can specify a group. We will leave it to default to sync all users and devices. Click Next. On the Optional Features tab, select any additional feature that you would like to activate. Each feature has an icon for more information if you want to know about that specific feature. Since we don't have actions in our forest, first two options are grey out. We can enable password write back. After that, enable self-service password reset in Microsoft Entra ID. You can do that step later if you want. At the moment, we are not going to enable any optional features. Click Next. Make sure Start the synchronization process when configuration completes is selected. Click on Install. The installation process has been started successfully. This will take few seconds to complete the process. Microsoft Entra Connect configuration is completed and the synchronization process has been started. If you get a message that says the Active Directory Recycle Bin is not enabled for your forest, then I highly recommend you enable it. Check out the video on how to enable AD Recycle Bin for step-by-step -step instructions. The link is provided in the description. Click Exit to close the installer. After installing Microsoft Entra Connect tool, sign in to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center to verify it. Let's go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Let me close this web page and then click on Refresh. 
we can see the sync status is changed to enable last sync status is says less than 1 hour ago and the password has sync is enabled in microsoft entra admin center go back to all users click on refresh and under on premises sync column now we can see we have some users with yes these are the users which are synchronized from our on premises active directory to microsoft entra id this is the microsoft entra connected account created by microsoft entra connect setup which will sync ad objects between on premises active directory and microsoft entra id we can see the users from india ou like akshay kumar amish modi jayesh patel under on prem sync enabled column we can see yes for our user akshay kumar amish modi jayesh patel etc so we can verify our on premises active directory objects in microsoft entra admin center now let's go back to our windows server 2019 domain controller click the start menu on the windows server 2019 domain controller expand azure ad connect under azure ad connect click on the application with the name synchronization service it has already completed the synchronization the first time a full import is made a full synchronization and a export click on the msft webcast lab 24.onmicrosoft.com with the profile name export click on adds in the export statistics these objects are exported with success from on premises active directory to microsoft entra id we can double click on each distinguished name to identify the user object let me double click on this one you can see the username is akshay kumar and this is the user principal name of that user account akshay at msftwebcast.in we can see the user account of our on premises ad user akshay kumar in microsoft entra admin center you can also apply filter to find out the users from your on premises active directory let me select on premises sync enabled and value should be yes click on apply so these are the users from our on premises active directory expand groups and click on all groups we also have two groups from our on premises active directory india computers and india users let's expand devices and click on all devices at the moment we don't have the computer account of our windows 11 device which is joined to our on premises active directory as from windows 11 device account everything looks great we did successfully installed and configured microsoft entra connect tool on windows server 2019 dc that's all for this video on how to install and configure microsoft entra connect tool to sync on premises active directory users to microsoft entra id i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you have any questions or need further clarification please leave a comment below Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.